Welcome to the project demonstration of advanced traffic violation control and penalty system using IoT and image processing techniques by using Raspberry Pi. So here we are using a main module is RFID reader module in order to identify the vehicle number with the help of this RFID tag the number will be extracted and that will be given to the Raspberry Pi. And uh, if that particular vehicle detection was placed uh, when uh, there is a red light, means when the traffic signal is red light, if the vehicle presence is there near the signal, then the indication of traffic violation and the Raspberry Pi will capture the particular vehicle image with the help of this Pi camera and the particular image will be sent to the email uh, through this uh, Raspberry Pi which is inbuilt Wi-Fi consist of. So this is the image uh, mail we are going to receive like so called vehicle number and the penalty and where we need to pay that uh, the so called penalty. So here uh, we have interfaced the uh, RFID reader module and traffic signals and Pi camera to the Raspberry Pi uh, 0W we are using and uh, LCD display will show the status of the project. So we have interfaced these modules uh, uh, RFID reader at the receiving pin and LCD at pin number 17, 27, 22, 19, 11 pins. Pi camera directly to the Pi camera slots and remaining pins uh, that is 5, 6 and 23, 24 pins to the microcontroller. So we have interfaced the RFID reader through this microcontroller in order to make the operation is uh, speeder manner. So here uh, we have coded the Pi 3, Pi, Pi 0 W uh, in this 32 GB ultra class 10 memory card and we have coded that in Python language. So we need to provide the power supply from the two adapters. One is for the microcontroller to provide the power supply to the CM18 RFID reader module and this adapter for the power supply for the Raspberry Pi. So before demonstration of the kit, we need to provide the uh, like internet service through the hotspot. So just on the hotspot and uh, change the hotspot name to project 6207 without any space, without any capital letter and password should be 123456789. After enabling the hotspot and data, then on the power supply to the Raspberry Pi as well as to the RFID reader module. So after that, the uh, Raspberry Pi will take 20 to 30 seconds duration for booting the memory card as we need to load the operating system. So it will take 20 to 30 seconds duration, and after that, these particular lights will get on and off two times and uh, LCD display will display the welcome message right okay there we can see the one device is connected in your mobile phone also to the hotspot right so one device is connected now you can stay on the gmail right okay so whenever the green light if vehicle passes there is no indication or there is no alert for that so whenever we show the tag there we can see LED indication on this one so you can see the LED indication the vehicle continuously passes through that there is no alert message but whenever the red signal is there then if we place the vehicle detected then the system capture the image and send that particular image to the registered email ID So it will take again 20 seconds for receiving the mail in your registered email id right so we got it email let's click on that we can see the image along with email alerts so one second we show that Got the one more mail. Right. Okay, so in this manner, we are going to uh, give the penalty for the signal jumping vehicles by using RFID to identify the vehicle presence and Pi camera to capture that particular image of the vehicle and sending that to the uh, registered email ID.